Uh, first of all, I want to thank you uh, so very much. My Can life you hear her? Closer? Is this good? First of all, I want to thank you so very much. My life has changed so tremendously over the last couple of years. And um, one of the nicest compliments I've ever gotten has come just recently. I have three friends who have told me, two of them have told me that I've inspired their life, which I thought was maybe the nicest thing anybody could ever say to you. And one said, you're so focused. So as long as I can focus on the things I really want to create, that, that is quite a blessing, I think. Um, my question is, um, I mulled over a lot of things I wanted to ask you. And, but it comes down primarily to if I have to narrow the road down a little bit, it's I want more joy and fun in my life. I, I want that more passionately than I can hardly express. And um, suggestions on how to create that. The other things, the money, the health, the relationships, um, those are sort of sideline avenues in the fun department. But uh, fun. I want to play. I came here to play and I want to play so bad. Well, someone said to you, you just said to us, that you are a very focused person. So does it follow that if you were to focus on fun, then fun would be what would come to you? Yes. And so what are some of the most fun things that you can think of? Esther said to her friend as they were setting up today, you, are, you may very well be the funniest person that I know. And he said, I know that's why you hired me to do the videography. And Esther said, uh, mostly, yes, it is true. You're not very good at setting the microphone, but you are <laughs> really, really funny, in other words. And so, and so when you know that you like fun and you identify something as fun, always looking for fun. So give us an idea of, in the, in the idea of looking for fun, tell us something that falls into that category for you that you have lived recently. Okay, last night. Dancing. That was fun. I had a great time. We all had a great time. So now, as you spoke about it and those who played with you rose to it easily. And so give us a description. Focus upon, focus upon last night until you activate within yourself the feeling of fun. What was fun about it? Oh... So many different things. Um, it was fun because there were so many people to play with. Um, I think that was perhaps the, um, the best part for me because uh, in the past I've had, I was more solitary. Now you're focusing on something other Not, than right. fun. Okay. People to play with. People I, to I love to have people around who want to play who love to have fun and because uh, then right, now, co-create. Now, now feel in this attitude of focusing, feel how as you thought of the idea that was fun and those who played with you agreed and then as you began to focus, you focused on the past which wasn't so fun right. and then we pulled you back to exactly. what is fun mm -hmm. and now, now as you're visiting, you're rambling a little, you're getting a little too philosophical. Just focus on what was fun about last night. Okay. Uh, the dancing, the movement, um, strange things even like all of a sudden the ship would move and it would see it's it's very really fun trying to dance when the ship floor is moving with you or not moving with you whatever the case may be the people around you the so company. there were elements of surprise there were people you knew people you didn't know you were in a sort of carefree attitude you exactly. have left behind any sense of scrutiny you were not you had left behind any sense of of um, needing to behave in any particular way you are just feeling lighter and freer and so as you speak about that and you talk about how fun that was and you beat the drum of that what happens is you not only had the experience of the fun which we don't think you stumbled into you went there deliberately but now you've activated it deliberately which means that you're up for even more fun what else um for last night or just generally speaking since we've been on the cruise there's been so many things that have been fun before the cruise before the cruise um 
getting ready for the trip. It was it was an adventure. Um, we're not talking about adventures. We're talking about fun. Okay. In other words, focus. You you have friends who tell you that I you are focused. very focused. And what we're wanting to reflect back to you is that when you say I want fun, then all you have to do is pick a little segment of something that was fun and you know talk about. Jerry and Esther will say as they're sitting in a restaurant that they are really enjoying. They'll say, "What is it about this that is making this so good?" And then they will sort of dissect it and try. Try to figure out. Well, is it because we're so comfortable in our chair? Well, is it because the waiter is there and yet not intrusive? Well, is it is it the lighting? Is it the way the air feels? Is it the way the air smells? Is it the way we were greeted? Is it the mood that we're in? In other words, they they often are dissecting a moment that feels wonderful because they're wanting to vibrationally mark it. And remember it, and activate it, and hold it, and keep it. You see. So when you find yourself in a moment that it's fun, and you stop and you say, "This is fun," you might say, "What's fun about it? Why is this fun?" In other words, milk the moment of fun, get it more deeply rooted into your vibration, because that's all creation is about. It's about focusing into focusing into being a vibration that has the power of attraction. That's all it is. You see. Okay, I got some good ones. <laughs> um, uh, recently, I joined eHarmony, and um, I started corresponding with someone. And are we still talking about fun? Yes, we are. And and this um, it became so much fun because the corresponding back and forth. It was you got emails Does this feel every fun? day. No. Okay. Get to the fun part. The fun part is, in other words, focusing. Focusing requires. In other words, you might know what you're leading us up to, but so far it doesn't feel too fun. We haven't got there yet. Okay. Um, the fun part is expecting an email, and there it is, or not expecting an email, and there it is, and getting to know you. That song played nonstop in my head for weeks. You know, because there was the good. Part, what else? Um. Oh, jeez. Um. Lots of just the getting to know you thing. It was so much fun. Blah just blah blah doing blah, blah blah blah. Okay. Does it feel fun? Not no. very fun. Okay. Well, you put yourself in this situation. Yes. You see, you told us that you that were I, a focuser. That's what they told and me. And so, <laughs> and so, well, they might be right. And so, your assignment is to look for fun wherever I am. Find it. Remember it. And report back to us. Okay, savoring would be fun. Savoring the moment, like you do when you have a nice glass of wine, like dinner. I had a great glass of wine last night. That dessert was wonderful. They had the best coffee in the dining room. It tastes so good. Mm, well, savoring is savoring, and fun is fun. And okay. fun feels like a different vibration to us than savoring, doesn't it? You, in other words. Uh, Let's see if we can capture the vibrational essence of fun. What what makes fun fun? Surprise was mm -hmm. one thing that you mentioned. A sense of adventure, a feeling of moving quickly up the emotional scale, mm -hmm. a feeling of being here and then finding yourself here. One of the things that we notice that is really fun is being with others who are looking for fun. Oh, yes. One of the things that is really fun is being with someone who's already having fun, who sort of coaxes you up to fun, and so it's fun to be with people who are having fun. Uh, what what is the essence of fun? What what does it mean to you mostly? What is the vibrational essence of fun? It feels free. It feels non-judged. It feels playful. It feels playful. It feels limitless. It feels like it's in motion. It, it, we think that one of the things, and, and here we're going to hone in on it with you a little bit. We think one of the things that makes you call something fun is that feeling of moving, the feeling of energy moving through you. In other words, and that's where the element of surprise sort of comes in. You go in, you're expecting to have a nice time, but when something is fun, when something is fun, it's it's more powerfully focused. It's almost always, it doesn't need to be because you can have fun. Esther is editing today 
Jerry has read the new book, The Amazing Power of Deliberate Intent, into the recorder, into the computer. And so Esther is editing it, getting it ready for Hay House to distribute it. And as she is listening, she is listening to the fun they had while they were editing it because Jerry would be reading along and it would be brilliant and beautiful and everything just right. And then the words in his mouth, mouse would turn to mush. <laughs> Nothing that his brain wanted him to do would he be able to make his mouth do. And then Esther is hearing herself laughing in the background and she can hear Jerry's words coming through a grin. And then she would hear herself say, maybe we should start that over again. And she had a tremendous amount of fun listening back to something that they'd done before. It was really a very funny thing to hear. She said, I think what I'll do is just make a whole CD of the outtakes of, of listening to you trying to say vibrational alignment, vibrational alignment, vibrational alignment, vibrational alignment. And he said, did you know the U.S. has 22 twin screw cruisers? And Esther said, well, I know you can say that, but I want you to say vibrational alignment, vibrational alignment, vibrational alignment, vibrational alignment. And then he would say, well, then you say vibrational alignment. And Esther would say, vibrational alignment. And he would say, no, that didn't sound very good to me. And so when you find a moment in time where that you are surprised with the spontaneity of the moment. It's just factors that come together. You see, the universe knows who you are and what you are wanting. And the universe knows not every potential for a love interest the, or not every potential for a rendezvous with dollars that you seek. The universe knows where every potential for fun is. They know who's on the elevator that's in that mood. They know who's around the corner that's in that mood. In other words, when you get tuned into the idea that you want fun and when you activate within your yourself by remembering things that have been fun and you bring yourself to the feeling of having fun not just with the words but with the way it feels in your belly then what happens around nearly cor every corner that you turn will be someone there ready for you to play with oh good we think that at the heart of fun is co-creation and we think at the fun of that co-creation is spontaneity and we think that the word spontaneity means surprise and we want to say to you that the universe has the ability to orchestrate that beyond your wildest dreams and you just can't fake it Esther said to Jerry you just you you can't make this happen he, he will say okay I'm going to I'm going to announce the opening I'm going to begin the meeting and Esther will say well have fun and what she means is she doesn't mean have something specific that you're gonna say she just means have fun it's the spontaneity in the moment that makes the magic happen about life altogether you see mm -hmm. so don't give yourself the assignment of fun give yourself the expectation of fun and the universe will line you up with those who are having fun some of you were at a table the other night having so much fun <laughs> Everyone could hear you laughing. And Esther said, I want to eat with them. I want to be there where that fun is. And then she said, let's spread them out and put one of them over there and one of them over there and one of them over there and one of them over there. Them over there. And we say, that's not the magic. That's not the magic. In other words, it was the combination of that which we, they were. It was the combination that made for the fun, you see. It's co-creation. So what you're asking for is not to be the one who is fun. You're asking to be the one who is vibrationally receptive of inspiration that will move you into the vicinity of someone else that is reaching for the same thing and when two or more of you come together it's really fun oh it is yes very thank good. you so yes much. indeed yes indeed thank you yes